making an exception tonight. Because I've been lucky enough to get sent a copy of Pacer. Which you can see on the screen. Hopefully I've managed to disable all of the um, music which may cause an issue with streams and YouTube videos and things. If not I'll have to turn all the music off in a minute. But I think I've disabled all the right ones. Fingers crossed. But I'll go and check in a second. Actually, an easy way of doing this. Let me just pop in here a second. So, the first thing to note about Pace is it's got an amazing soundtrack. But we won't be hearing all of it because I'm slightly paranoid about copyright stuff. So, what is Pacer? And why should you care? Pacer is developed by R8 Games, some of whom worked on the Wipeout series. The music is by Cold Storage, who provided music for the Wipeout series. It's an anti-gravity combat racer, like the Wipeout series. You might be noticing a theme here. It's kind of impossible not to mention a certain Psygnosis game from 1995, the original one? Probably it's 95 or 97 now, my mind's going, I'm getting old. It's impossible not to mention the fact that there is an obvious um, inspiration for this game, but there hasn't been a wipeout in three years, and it was an amazing game. So. Now we have Pacer out on the PC, PS4, coming to Xbox One. I think they've had to delay it by a day or two due to an unforeseen issue. It has quick play mode, career, ah, online. I can't remember how many players it's up to, but more than one. We have a garage where we can look at cosmetics. Great loadouts. I don't know what any of that means yet. And something about weapons. Ooh, Gauss cannon. Tether, shock, what I... Do. Again, I have no idea what any of that does yet. I've literally started the game in order to turn any particularly worrying music off, check that I knew what the controls did, and that's it. So I've done one race so far. So... Let's jump into, uh, I don't know what any of these are, right. Let's try a quick race to begin with. We'll go with the F3000, because I think that's the slowest. Weapons are on, collisions are on. Okay. I did that track last time when I was testing it, so I'm going to go with El Muro. The slum city, El Muro, is the setting for one of the easier circuits. Good. Featuring a wide track. Good. Large turns. Good. Huge slopes. Could be a problem. We'll give it a try. Right. So you can do the tracks forward or you can do them in reverse if you unlock it with credits. You can do it in day or night, which is unlock with credits. You can do it mirrored. Unlock with credits. Okay. So I know what credits are for. What craft do I have? The Saber, the Python, the El... hang on. Oh yeah, Dragon, Vox. Okay, that looks bonkers. There's a handy leaderboard there. 44 seconds, not going to get near that. Um, okay. Cosmetics, nothing. Performance, high speed, agility. Right, I'm going to go with none to start with. Weapons, long range, defensive, disruptive, track control. Let's go with long range. Oh, that's loud. So, what do I know about this game? Well, I know that you control it with air brakes, so you have accelerator on a key or button on a joypad. And then your triggers on a joypad are left and right air brakes. Your bumpers are left and right weapons. And you have a curse boost, which is default map to X. And I didn't seem to be able to change it. 
because I was going to put it on Y or B to make it a little bit easier to press without having to break a finger, but unfortunately not. And that's about it, as far as I can tell. Essentially, pilot your floaty ship round and round and round. The arrows are speed boosts in the traditional of arrows on a track. The symbols are different types of power-up and weapon and stuff, but I haven't really figured all of that stuff out yet, because why would you need to understand how a game works to play it? And, yeah. This does look like quite a cool track. I like the kind of built on top of the kind of... Um, what's the word? I was going to say shanty town, but it's not really. But it's kind of that thing where you get with certain cities where they're kind of built up and up and up over time and they've just carried on building up and up and up in a kind of haphazardy, higgledy piggledy type of way which has a lot more character. Anywho, we're about to start a race so I can stop gibbering. I'm in 10th. Uh, okay. I'm going to actually need to break at some point. I've picked up a... Ooh, hello. Ah, get around there. I picked up a thing that did a thing. Some kind of shock... Oh, shockwave, right. I always forget to use my boost as well, annoyingly, but... Ah, I can electromic you. Oh, that's a really big saw. That's quite close to the track. That could be dangerous. Ah, brain. Right. Ow. Is that a homing Ow, cock? I'm probably going to end up with my ship exploding from just smacking into walls the entire time. Ow. Right, I'll actually try using a boost now. Nope, that's a weapon, not a break. It's going well. Right, we're up to third anyway. Have a weird electrical thing. Ooh, my shield's quite low as well, that's not good. Yeah, I've just noticed that too. Oh, oh, that, that went badly. Shield critical as well, so that's not good. Um... I'm hoping that's a shield symbol. Yes, right. Oh, shush. Right, so basically try and pick up purpley ones. Or just completely miss them. Purpley one, please. No, that nasty man took it. For some reason I keep missing them. Right, let's just get away from people to start with. If I'm away from people, then I can concentrate on not smacking into walls quite so much. That's the theory. Oh, some shield. I needed that. Thing to remember is using the uh, brakes. Oh, shush. Using the brakes builds up your curves. There we go. Doesn't matter. So, by slowing down and actually breaking and taking corners properly, you get the curse stuff. Cur um, I can't remember what curse stands for now. Something energy reduction system. Energy. Yeah. Anyway, by actually breaking, you build up your boost. So, it's better to actually break to go around the corner, get a boost, and then boost out, than do what I was doing, which is hammer into the corner, don't break, bounce off a wall, and hope you don't explode. I've learned a thing. Right. So, time trial. I'm not going to bother with yet because I am a danger. Speed lap. Fastest lap wins again. Destroy or be destroyed. Reach the points limit. Not sure I'm quite ready for that yet. Elimination. Endurance. Travel as far as you can after the first lap is completed. All pilots will start taking damage. Interesting. 
Now, Storm is one of the new ones, or kind of new game modes that have apparently going into this game. And I think this is the one that's kind of Battle Royale um, influence, where you have to stay within the eye of the storm. Which I don't understand. Uh, Flowmentum gets as far as you can, getting faster with each gate pass. Okay, well let's try and do an elimination next, because I n can understand how that works with my tiny brain. Ooh, that's pretty. Let's go to Niagara. Which, as you might imagine, involves a waterfall. Right, I'm not sure about that ship. Let's go with the dragon. You can't go wrong with a dragon. Uh, I'm going to keep it standard, because I don't know this circuit. Long range, none. Defensive, disruptive, track. Let's try track control this time. Oh, God. That one noise is way louder than everything else in the game. Everything else is, you know, quite nicely, trancy, electronic-y chilled. And then when you fire up that, suddenly your ears fall off. Okay, so there's my dragon. Looks a bit more like a proper spaceship. Gotta remember not to use the right trigger to accelerate, because that's a break. Right, so this is elimination, so I just can't be last. Destruction imminent? I've only just started. Give me a chance, mate. Okay. Well, that did a thing, but I don't know what the thing it did was. If anyone watching this can actually explain what these weapons are doing while I'm playing this, please do, because I'm a bit... Like the original Wipeouts, I'm a bit too distracted trying not to die every split second to actually understand what's going on. Yeah. Right, I've got some shield, which will come in handy. Ow, wall. Double boost! That must be about triple boost by now, surely. Ah, uh, corner. Still can't break for Toffee. But I'm not going to be lost, because Christian Fernandez has been... Uh, I don't know if it's Christian. Oh, I just made it up. Ah. No, you don't, sunshine. Ah. Okay. Something I'm realising. No track map. Ow. And no cornering ability. Right, well, I'm in first, so that seems okay. Stop bouncing off the walls. You absolute cretin. I'm still getting used to the cornering. But it's going okay, I think. I, I don't know what that just did. I think something came out of the back of my ship. Alright, I'm going to try and stay up here without using too much boost, because that way, if I find myself in last, I can just boosty, 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 and hopefully get myself out of trouble. Something's making a beeping noise. Something's definitely making it. Oh, okay. Right, keep hitting the boosts. And keep hitting the shields. Ah! And get off the wall. Double boost! I think I need to be closer to that. I think the long-range weapons were a bit more useful, because I didn't have to be right next to them to use them. Ow! I don't know what he just did. He shot off. Right, come here. There, have a purpley thing. Oh, that looked like some kind of mine that I just drove straight towards. Okay, alright. So, maybe don't use the air brakes as much unless I want to turn right. Okay. Oh, you git. Ow. Oh god, I need shields. Need shields. Really, really need shields. I can see some shields. It's right next to the wall. There we go. Okay, I have the tiniest smushing of shields. I think I've just dropped a mine on someone. Ow. Shields. Okay, so only use the air brakes on the really tight turns, or when it's all going horribly wrong. Oh, don't hit the mines, that's bad. 
I'm learning. What the? Something's killing me. I I don't know what I just got hit with, but now get off the wall. Where the hell is first place? Disappeared all of a sudden. Now, that would be trying to hit a weapon rather than actually hitting the air brake. Because I'm an idiot. Right, so I think. Ow! I seem to have just got an achievement for being stupid enough to uh, go things. And it's called Waka Waka. I'm being trolled by Steam achievements. Right, so I've got Shuffle Shield, hardly any boost, and very little health. Ow. But I think I just got a new luck record, so, you know. Uh, I just really need to catch up with first place now. I'm going to run out of time very soon. I think this is third place about to go out. So there's no point in actually using any uh, rear facing weapons because I'm now in last. Right. Definitely need the shield. Okay. I know I'm in last place. Right, let's give it some welly. How far ahead is first place? Well, I've got no boost left. So I'm pretty much stuffed now. Guy was right at the end of that... St well, they... We're really right at the end of that straight. Oh yeah, well, second place, that's not too bad for my first ever attempt. Not sure I've got the right ship for that shenanigans. Right. <coughs> Let's try Storm. Fire Fury. Oh no. Alright, I'll go and unlock the rest of those, okay. Well, let's go back to the first one, because I haven't done that on the stream. Alright, so Vox low on with, Dragon I came second with. Vixen, Sabre. Let's try this Sabre. Weapons locked. Okay. Well, that will make it easier to concentrate if I don't have to worry about weapons. I guess. Midtown traffic can get pretty you. In some ways, I'm glad I don't have to race on fire because I refuse to acknowledge that as a word for fire. I like this particular map, it's kind of so I imagine somewhere like Seattle could end up looking in like some kind of post-apocalyptic future, like the tunnels and the greenery and stuff. Or maybe San Francisco, judging by the big bridge that was just in the cinematic. Okay, so, accelerate. I don't know if there's any sort of turbo start. But I seem to get off to an okay start anyway. So what the hell is this... I don't understand what I'm doing. Something just happened. So there's a... Ow! So there's a ship. I, I don't know what I'm doing. But someone's shooting at me. Which I do not appreciate. And someone's been eliminated. Possibly out by me.
I've got some kind of tether. Oh dear god. What the hell is that? So if I go into this, is this damaging me now? Yes. Yes it is. Okay. So, hang on. I've just... But so I can't go in there now because I've got no health. Ow, he was pulling me forwards. I really need some shields. And then there's that flying thing. I I think I might need to actually understand this mode a bit mode a bit more before I stop trying to do well at it, but I've got more shield this time. It makes it really hard to see. If I go in here... See, now it means second. This... Can I... No. I was wondering, if I went fast enough, could I actually go through the storm and out the other side? Apparently not. Okay. Well, it's different. Ah, and thank God that noise is ended. It, it's different. I'm not sure I understand it. Right, let's try Midtown Traffic again without the weird storm. And go um, for Flow Mentum. God, that noise is going to drive me mad. I mean, the game was released uh, yesterday, so there, there may be the occasional niggle with it, because there always is with any game that launches, because suddenly you've got thousands of people all doing things that you might not have expected, but I hope they level up the audio on the menus at some point. Okay, so it's just me. I just have to go. Three, two, one, go. Apparently. Okay, oh. And presumably go through the gates. It seems simple enough so far. I have a feeling it's going to get a lot worse very soon. Yep. I don't know how it's going to get worse very soon. I just know it is. Oh, that was a pain to get to. Ow! Stop doing that. There we go. use some boost. Whoa! No. I still... It's going to take me a while to get used to the handling. It doesn't handle like a car, as you might imagine. So my eyes see ship. My brain goes, it, it would be like driving everything else. And no. I'm getting there. I think I'm getting there. I haven't hit anything for a little bit. Ow. Spoke too soon. So, I just seem to be going round and round and round. And... Ow, shouldn't have boosted quite so much there. Live and learn. I thought there'd be some kind of counter counting down or something. But I can't... Oh, tits. Oh, no. No. Right. Go. Okay, shields are low. I see that now. Is that the only thing that's going to end this? Ah, uh, so the gates restore shield. So I don't actually have to worry about them hitting them. Gotcha. Ow. 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 
So as long as I hit enough shields to make up for my inevitable smacking into the walls, I should be okay. Ah, uh, I see what's happening now. This is speeding up, isn't it? Ow. Yeah, it's not boost I need, love. It's slowing down. Uh, oh, that's a wall. Now this begs the question, how fast is this going to get before I explode? Right, I don't really need to worry about oh, boosting. Ow. 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 Oh no. I, ow. I was just getting used to how it handled at normal speed. Oh god. Oh god. Yeah, okay, I can see how this comes to an end. And probably quite soon. Because it's every lap it speeds up. Oh, shush. And my shield is actually going down the entire time now, so I have to hit the gates again. Okay. I got it. Ow. 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 Oh, God. Yeah, I was never going to hit that. Oh, I should have got that one, though. Right. I have shield. I don't have shield. I definitely don't have shield. Oh, God. Uh, I don't want to blink. Okay, I can see this. Ow. Speed. Ow. Get off the wall, you pelch it. Yeah, well, I'm not surprised. I'm doing... Oh. Ridiculous amount of speed. Well, I got 36.9 kilometres and 40 credits. I don't know if that's good or not. But, you know, it's a start. Right, so that's the quick play stuff. Let's try a career. Training. I probably should have done this to start with. Okay, fledglings, you've had your fun in the amateur ranks. I don't remember doing that. Uh, uh, something boot camp. Get third place or higher at every event and you might be ready for the real deal. Okay. Mechanics intro. No standing. No weapons, no pressure, complete two laps to proceed in the pacer. Okay. Ah! You think the third or fourth time I've hit play and that noise has happened, I'll be ready for it. You'd be wrong. So apparently this is Sonashaha. I should have actually read that before trying to say. This appears to be the home race for the Garuda team, which I know are one of the teams in this, so I'm guessing each team has their own home race. Okay, we're off. Uh, turn left, right. Okay, I will. I mean, you probably wanted to tell me that before we started the race, but okay. And again, you're telling me you left air brake and I've already gone round about six corners. Slow down. Oh, hello. Yes. Ah, pitch up. Wee. Oh, crap. Yes, manual boost. Oh, there's a changed camera, which is terrifying. Well, if this is a new lap record, how might... Oh, there's a look behind thing. That seems like a bad idea. 
Ow. Chuff off. It's that Team Nietzsche guy. That was... Oh, oh, person. That's the one that beat me earlier. Okay, I see you. I see you. I'm coming for you. Come here, Nietzsche. I never liked your philosophy. I got all the boosts. And I know this is... Oh, going to split in two this time. Ha ha. Got shuffle curves, though. Ow. Boom. Take that, Teenita. Netza. Is that it? Have I passed my training? No. Like a Cosmic Oh! Cool. So, one of the teams is called Gagarin, I think. I'm guessing this may be their track. Especially because that looks like a big stone Yuri Gagarin over there, and Laika was the name of the dog that went up in the first Russian um, capsule. I know this. She was a stray dog found on the street and sent up and sadly died um, very early on. Okay, weapons men. Hang on. Create a new loadout. I need to give my loadout a name, do I? Uh, how... Okay, my loadout is called Steve. Uh, any weapon can be to be him in here. First tutorial, a quick left weapon slot. Okay, nano rocket. Have I selected that? Do I need? Um. Okay. Real guided launch tree, equip it to boost the speedy rockets, okay. Right. Real guided launch. Okay, so now oh, can I do that on right? And no. Okay, right weapon. What shall we have? I reckon a pulse, because that's going to be unguided, and unguided is probably a good thing. Can I mod it? No. Right. Now I can see my created loadout. There's a back one. Right. Okay. Weapons. Steve. So, rockets on the left, pulse on the right, stuck in the middle with me. Well, I don't know whether the snow might interfere with my anti-gravity ship or anything, but I like the look of this map. Ooh, there's some kind of jet flying past. Some more jets parked up. How sm... Hang, hang on. How big are the... Those planes and how small is my ship? Because they look very big. Oh, well. Find out if I go past them. Keep an eye out. If you see some giant planes, we'll know this is like micro-machines. Right, so I've got weapons this time. So I have to do that and the boost. Weapon pads for swords. Right. I need to get four kills. Oh, I've got to actually hurt people. Yeah, those planes seem quite large. No, I don't want to boost in front of the guy that's shooting everyone, thank you.
Okay. Come here. How many times do I need to shoot someone to kill them? Because I'm shooting this guy. This Ow. It doesn't seem to be doing anything. Okay, it wasn't the pulse I wanted. It was the other thing. Okay. I will know that for later. Now the guy that I've spent a lap trying to kill is behind me. Which is a little infuriating. Uh, is there any kind of weapon here? Anywhere? I, I just need a kill. How many missiles do I get per pod? Because I seem to have built up a few there. Ow! Can I just hit him? Is that allowed? Well, I'm shooting people, but it doesn't seem to actually hurt them. Hang on, he's smoking. Let me... Oh! Come on, Smokey, get in front so I can... Oh, for pity's sake. I can't shoot anyone if I've got no weapons. Right, where's Captain Smokey in front? I just How did I miss that? Oh, for Christ's sake. Whoa! Why did that go behind? I d I d what? <clears throat> it's not beast, I need just chuffing weapons at work. Why is oh that Helps if you press the right button, doesn't it? That's how video games work. What? Have you gone invisible? Cause that's cheeky, right. Okay, it turns I suck with weapons, apparently. Where did that go? Well, I didn't die. So that's a good thing. Alright, let's see if I can... Can I select a different one? No, okay, create loadout then. I want to replace Steve. Yes. Yes, I do. Right, so. Left weapon. Nano rocket. Left mod. Rail guided launch. Right weapon. Hello? Hello? 
Oh, for Christ's sake. Uh, weapon. For some reason it wasn't letting me select a right weapon. Right. Can I only have a left weapon now? It let me have one earlier. Huh. Okay. And the weapons are locked, so I can't actually select something. But I can't. Something's not right there. Okay, let's try it again, shall we? Training. Training. Guns ready. Weapons, yes. Crate loadout, yes. Nano rockets, yes. Yes. Right weapon. That was the one, shockwave. Ooh, alternated current. Increases electrical charge. We get impact. Hmm, thermite payload. That sounds like fun. Yes. Okay. Let's have some thermite payload. That should help. Sadly, I can't afford anything else yet. Right. Okay. Steve's vanished. But I do have a Jeff. <sighs> Right, so let's try this again. <coughs> Got the same rockets, but this time they're packed with thermite. And we have the shockwave, which means I don't have to actually aim it. Which, as we saw in my last attempt, is a good idea. Three, so I just need to actually one, kill someone this time. You'll do. Is that going to hit you? Oh, that's annoying. Get around there. Let me catch you and kill you. Oh. Need weapons. There we go. How many rockets is it going to take to kill this guy? Did I get one? Kill! Yes! Right, next. That was a terrible shot. What a waste. Okay, can I get a weapons power up? Yes. Have some termite. Ow! Everything's just gone very shiny. Need more weaponry. So the te I don't know why that one went backwards, but that was not helpful. So the technique for this one appears to be just sit behind someone and shoot the crap out of them. Oh, 
Also, thermite is good. Big fan of the thermite. There isn't even anyone right behind me, so I don't know why they keep going behind. Ow! He's got a rocket on his head. No, where did that go? Stop shooting me. It's my kill. Okay, so I got three kills. I'm also running a bit low on the old shield. Ow. Shield, please. See what's happening. I'm blind. Stop nicking all the weapon pads. I thought I shot the green one earlier. Need weapons. Could have got the four kills there. Okay. Gear up. Okay, performance loadout. Highlight and select the performance option to start building your loadout. Create new loadout. Equip a performance upgrade engine, handling brakes, anti gravity defense. Okay, engine. Apparently, I'm going to be going for acceleration. Fair enough. Handling. Can I... Handling isn't letting me do anything. Was that it? Okay. So apparently my performance like that was acceleration. Kugelberg Mountains. Okay. Looks pretty. Is this be the Izulu team, I think it is. Three, two, one, go. Why do I have to start in last? Not fair. Well, so now my weapons are all on the other. Do mean side? The default for these weapons is exactly the opposite of how I had it set up. Now get off the wall. Ah, my mind just melted. Now. Much spinny and twisty. Let's 
Uh, Nita, Nita, Nita. Uh, where am I? Second. Well, that's alright. Where's that first place? Gweet. Yeah, I don't know where my missile just went, but it wasn't where I was aiming. Have it. Stop nicking all the weapons! Ow. Okay, you're smoking. That's good. That means you're not much longer for this race. Hopefully. Oh, I forgot about adjusting my pitch to uh, handle those. Wee. I don't actually know how far ahead I am. I don't know if I can actually uh, relax a bit or not. Yeah, and you like record. I'm the Lewis Hamilton of the uh, anti-gravity combat racing world. It feels like I'm starting to get the idea of this. Now, maybe not. Because it's one of those things that you kind of know what, where you want to be going with the ship and what you're meant to be doing. But because futuristic anti-gravity races tend to handle a bit differently to anything else I normally would uh, race in. It takes a little bit of getting used to. I have to say, I mean, it looks great. It's running really nice and smooth. Ah, if I don't crash into a wall. I would go so far as to say it's positively silky. I mean, it's not like I've got a particularly uh, low rate PC, so I'd expect it to run reasonably well, but I haven't played around with the graphics settings at all. And as you thought, it all looks rather nice. Oh, it's nice and quiet. If you go. Neat. Ah, God! In the uh, cockpit view, such as it is. Bumper view? Yeah, bumper cam. Seems to go a bit quieter. Graduate. Okay, standard race. Performance. High speed, agility, defensive, drifter, Jeff 2. I'll go with none for that. Oh, Steve's reappeared. Right, I'm going to stick with long range and try and get used to the default layout and then swap Jeff over at some point if I actually need him. Oh no, because Jeff's got thermite, hasn't he? Oh, bugger. I didn't think of that. I've just meant that I'm confused about my buttons and I haven't got my thermite mod that I spent all my credits on. What a wally. Oh, well. Three, two, one, go. I'll be alright. Ah. 
I have to say, it's been a long while since I played Wipeout. But, so far, this is all the good bits that I remember, but looking even shinier. Ow, oh, can't see anything. That flashing thing is quite painful. Eat missile. Just hit something. I don't know what, but it hurt. Ow. Well, if you told me the shield was getting low early, I might have done something about it, but you're busy telling me my boost was ready. So if I do that... No. Ow. That was a bad idea. In many, many ways. Okay, last lap. Definitely need some shields, wherever possible, because someone's going to try and shoot me, surely. The whole look behind thing just seems like a bad idea. Because as much as I'd like to know how close the people behind are, there's not, exact out, there's not exactly a long straight where you can look behind very safely and actually see what's going on. I mean, things seem to be going okay at the moment. I think contact split. That's presumably I'm two seconds up, or I'm two seconds faster, I can't tell. Ow. Doesn't matter. Boom. Silver? Silver? Why did I not get gold? New contact. Midtown traffic. Re is that reverse? I don't know. I don't know what the symbols mean. That's, that's got to be forward, surely. But I've just been... Or is that mirrored? No. I don't know. So was it that one? Well, I thought I still came first, even though I only got three kills. Oh well. I'll go back and do that some other time. Right, so what's this? F300 Pro. Graduation. Now I can go and suit up. Now that I can, and run some simulations. Why am I only running simulations? Why can't I kill people? Right, so I want Jeff, because I've got Thermite. Thermite Jeff. Skip the cinematic. So which team is this? I don't know whether there is any kind of boost at the start, but I'm adopting the traditional Mario Kart press just as the lights go, are about to go green, and it seems to be working alright at the start for me. The lead group are getting away a bit though, so I might want to step on it a bit here. Ow! I 
I default to going for shields every time because I just assume I've got none left. Oh, that that can get all three of them. Aha. But I do like my thermite. Have two for your trouble. How are you still alive? You've got thermite burning a hole through your bum. Press that too early. Alright, so I've only got one lap left. Ow. Time to make use of the boost. And boost. And boost. Making use of the boost seemed to work quite well. I'm guessing as the tracks become more complicated, I'm going to have to use the air brakes a lot more. Ow! seem to have built up a sizable lead. Booyah! I can't remember how many races it said were in this championship. Ooh, El Paso. <laughs> Just noticed um, on this screen one of the sponsors is Chill Blast. Which ironically is my PC, the people that built my PC. So... If I can add some of their sponsor stickers, it will be very appropriate, and maybe they'll give me a discount when I need an upgrade. Who knows? Three, right, here we go again. One, go. Same amount of laps. So just spend some time shooting people. Save most of my boost till later. And then try and check out. Although, at the moment, I'm in last and everyone else is pulling away, which isn't good. Catch. Well, I got one of them, just not the one I was actually aiming at. Ow! What the heck was that? Whatever it was, it took the hell out of my shields. Right. Need to focus on getting some shields back. Not boost I need. Shields and weapons right now, love. Uh, one flaw with my current ship loadout is I've got nothing rear facing. So I basically have to hang back. And keep my powder dry. Until I can get away. Because what I can't do is let anyone have pot shots at me. 
seems to be working okay at the moment. I'm not sure how well it'll work in an online race. But hopefully we'll find out fairly soon. That's next on my list to try this evening. Especially because being a game that only came out 24 hours ago. People shouldn't have that much more experience than me to embarrass me. Oh, good thing is that's racking up the credits. I'll be rich, rich, I tells you. I'm not sure I'm convinced by some of the advertising. I'm not sure bio meat sounds um, particularly appetising. I want some tasty bio meat. Well, I'm sharing the thermite around liberally. Well, it was, so I completely missed that shot. There you go, have some thermite. No need to... Ow! Thank me. Someone has pissed you... Ow! Someone's definitely shooting me, and I'm not appreciating it. Who the hell's got the machine gun? I'm hoping it's the guy I've just stuck some thermite on. Ow, ow, ow. Okay. Definitely need to put up the old shields. Mr. Shield. Got that one though. Okay, we've got some shield. Oh. Someone just hit me with something that hurt. Go, 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 go. Ow. Time to check out. Been fun, lads. But I want to leave. Oh, but if I keep missing the shield, it's not going to help. Ow. Ow. Shields, 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 shields. There we go. More shields. Good thing is now, I've got health again. Help. Whew, that was lucky. Yay! Gold medal. That's more like it. Ooh. I can pick a campaign Garuda against Gagarin or Yangs. I'm going to go with Garuda because they've got a Force India paint job. Gold medal position right here. Huh. 
Okay, so Yangs just want me to finish ahead of Neutron. Gerudo want me to get a gold medal position in every event. And Gagarin want me to destroy my opponents as often as possible. Well, Yang seems the easiest, so I'm going to go with them. Right. But I'm not going to go into campaign right now. I'm going to go to the garage. Uh, where are we? Weapons. Jeff. I can get some kind of mod. Repels nearby across the edge of a track. Center track, no. Damage over a longer period. Increases the electrical charge. Let's try that one. Yes. Okay, and let's go with a longer period of time as well. Why not? Yes. Right. So we're ready with the Jeff. Ooh, I can change my paint scheme. Right. Uh, got orange. Exhaust. Blue. Trail basic. Ah, I could have fancy trails. Front. Oh, I see. All of those are going to cost money as well. Damn it. Quite a lot of money. I could have a giant spider on the roof of my ship. A pumpkin of the bone cage. Okay, right. So basically, pick a ship that you're going to use the most and then spend all your money making it look pretty. Yes. Out of there, out of there. Online! Lobby setup, no. Serverless, no. Matchmaking, yes. Let's go with matchmaking, see where this works in the first day. I'm pretty forgiving. Um, of issues with matchmaking. When a game's first launching, because it's always going to be hard for anyone to work out exactly how many people are going to be turning up and whether they can handle it and stuff, so... Apparently the match has been found waiting for server. I don't know whether that means it's waiting for a connection or waiting for a race to end. So, bear with me for two seconds. I just grab something from the other side of the room, which I can't get to because I've got headphones on. And I'm back. So, while well, we have some time, okay, well, let's try the server list instead. <coughs> Race day join, yes. This seems to be a bit quicker. Um, Okay. What do I think of this? I think it's really good. I think the graphics look really good. They've nailed the speed element, which is vital for this. I haven't tried the fast ships yet, obviously, but that um, flow momentum 
mode showed what it was like, so that's good. I think the look of it, yeah, spot on, that kind of neo-futuristic vibe works perfectly. Three, two, one, go. I'm assuming those are AI because they've got pictures. Yeah. Um, that's handy. Um, I think the controls work exactly as you'd remember if you'd played Wipeout. So it's nice and familiar, and makes sense. Once you get used to the handling and the fact that this isn't a car, it seems to work pretty well. I, I, I honestly can't think of a single thing that's, um, not good about this. Ow, apart from hitting mines. I don't like hitting mines. Ow! I forgot that was there. I've raced this track before, I should be doing better. I think I'm lost of all the human players. Music's great. Um, it runs nice and smoothly. Have some thermite chat. He's really going to be annoyed with me just constantly lobbing a thermite at him. So, I'm racing to win, not make friends. Well, as expected, the online racing is a bit tougher against humans that actually know what they're doing. It's nice. It's, at the moment, because I'm not exactly an expert in this game, it's more relaxing for me, because I'm just chilling out and listening to the music and trying to get around the course. Rather than uh, stressing if I'm only in fifth or fourth or whatever. Which is quite nice. I finally hit that boost, which is nice as well. Not last on the podium in my first online race. So yeah, overall, I think this game's rather excellent. Like I say, if you've played Wipeout, then you kind of know what to expect. And you'll know if you want to play that. If you haven't, then I'd definitely say it's worth trying. Definitely be worth a look. Right, let's yep, leave that lobby for a second. Because it basically does everything you want it to. Yeah, there's nothing particularly revolutionary. I mean, the flow momentum mode is alright. The storm mode, I think, is a little bit odd. But then again, I'm not a huge fan of most Battle Royale games anyway. I mean, you know, I don't mind the odd game of Fortnite or... Um, Warzone or PUBG or whatever, but like transferring it to racing games. I know Forza did it, um, but hmm. 
Uh, right, what have we got? Full screen, brand new, uh, yeah, so everything at the moment is on very high. And it's displaying perfectly. We have leaderboard! With one person on it? Um, okay. Pilot stats. So I know I've spent 9.8 seconds airborne. Credits. So you know who it's made by. And I think that's pretty much it. So. That will probably do for a first look. I mean, the fact that I intend to come on for a quick half hour and I've been streaming for about an hour and a half shows that it's pretty compelling. It's a game I'm going to keep coming back to and I'm definitely going to play some more. I think quick play is going to be fun just for trying out some new tracks and unlocking some of the other um, locations and things. I'm definitely going to go through career mode. So I will probably try and stop streaming that at some point. So I think the single player career should be quite good fun. If I can. Yeah, there we go. I'm going to see if I can figure out how many races it's going to be. Um, so, yeah. It looks great. It sounds great. It works perfectly. It handles the way you'd expect. Yeah, I'm a fan. The name isn't amazing. Because it reminds me of the AMC Pacer, I think it was. But, you know, if you're not particularly linked to 70s American cars, then it shouldn't be so much of a problem. If you're wondering what an AMC Pacer it is, um, it was the car that Wayne and Goff had in Wayne's World. If you remember that film. It, it's not the nicest looking vehicle. Let's put it like that. But yeah, I think... If the worst thing in about a game is the fact the name makes me think of a slightly dodgy 70s car and that's about the only thing I can uh, criticise I think R8 Games have done a really good job it'll be interesting to see what else they do in the future as well because I'm sure like every game now there will be some kind of um, development schedule post release with stuff happening so it'll be interesting to see how they expand it, whether they bring new vehicles, new tracks different modes, what whatever's going to happen but, yeah, I'm going to keep playing this. So, expect to see some more of this in the future. For now, I'm going to take a quick break, figure out how to actually fly a ship, and then come back and stream some more, possibly Sunday. I know a couple of people have mentioned I haven't played Euro Truck or American Truck Simulation in a while, but it won't replace eye racing in my heart or on my streams, but it's definitely going to be one that I'm going to be playing a lot of. So, yeah recommended and I think from memory there is a discount for the first few days of release uh, you can find it on Steam for the PC on the PlayStation Store for the PS4 and it will probably be on the Microsoft Store shortly for the Xbox One I know it was scheduled to come out on all platforms at the same time but there was some hiccup with the Xbox version so it should be appearing any second now, and probably has while I'm speaking. And that's you lot. Thanks for watching, hope you had fun, and watch me explode in a spaceship again sometime soon. I'll be back on Sunday. Till then, have a good weekend.